Ahi Prudential Development Limited, the trustee company of Ahi Investment Limited, was set up in 2016 when the firm started operations in 2017. Prominent woman leader Nellie McClay was the chair lady, and her two board members were Kualam Tangapi from Yalu Village and Andrew Bang from Makam District. When they both resigned last year, the chairman of AHI Group Limited, George Guare, appointed Cecily Gegelagi and Rose Endazo as the replacements for the two board members. Alluding to the recent presentation of AHI Group's 2.5 million kina dividends to AHI Prudential, McClay explained that her team is in charge of managing funding for projects earmarked within the six AHI villages of Butibam, Hengali, Kamkumung, Yanga, Wangang and Yalu. One of the projects was the Wangang Church that was recently opened. That was from the funds that were channeled through Ahi Prudential from the Ahi Investment Group. McClay said the execution management is Ahi Hope Foundation as they manage the projects. Requests for funding for the projects come through submissions from the six Ahi village cooperatives. The submissions are vetted by the Ahi Prudential Board, then are passed to the main board for them to sanction the requests from the village project sites. McClay, who is originally from East New Britain province, is a long-time lay resident who was approached by the Ahi Group Limited Board in 2016 to chair the Ahi Prudential Development Board, while Gegelagi is from Butibam and Wanigela in Central Province. She was with Ryback Stevedores back in 2010 when they established the Ahi Hope Foundation. She later left to pursue her career until she was approached late last year to join the board. Dazo, who is from the Philippines, spent her first three years with Ahi Investment until the cooperative management company AIL Group Limited was created in 2019. She is currently the corporate services manager and has experience working with the Ahi Hope Foundation. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.